I asked each of you separately to tell me some things that you loved about each other, and I wanted to share a few of these highlights. Hannah said of Calvin, I love how smart and ambitious you are. I love how kind and accepting you are of others. I love all the layers to your sense of humor. I love how reliable and steady you are. I love the way you feel like home. Calvin said of Hannah, I love the way you support my dreams. I love the way you reach my emotions. I love the way your smile lights up a room. I love the constant adventures we share in life. And I love the way you care for everyone around you. Calvin and Hannah, I've only know you, known you both a short time, uh, but in our conversations, it's so easy and apparent to tell how much you love each other. Isaiah 62, five says, as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so we are God rejoice over you. We see that today in your face, Cal. This is a picture that scripture gives us as Cal is delighting in him and God is delighting in us. Did you? <laughs> you okay? You did too. Then now. <laughs> okay, good. That's what they said. The love that you show each other, the sacrifices you've made, the sweat you've poured, the time you've both had invested in each other are a mirror of God's love for his people. 1 John 3, 1 says, Behold what manner of love has the Father bestowed on us that we would be called children of God, and such we are. My prayer is that the two of you will love each other out of this divine love because divine love changes you. It makes you more patient. It makes you more caring. It makes you more loving. And it makes you more selfless. faces of the people seated behind you, if you would turn around for just a moment. These are the people that have loved you, the people that have raised you, the people that have supported you through your relationship. They are the people that have played a large part in preparing you for this day. And on this day, you stand here with all of their love, all of their support, and all of their prayers. Colossians 3, 12 to 14. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Since you've made these vows to one another in the presence of God, by the authority of the state and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Cal, you can kiss your bride. <laughs>
cinema. 